Hello viewers, this is Heia Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Nintendo DS. Previously, aboard the casino ship the Ventuno, Madison won a round of TNT. Now we're ready to sail off and see what's to the south of here. Yep, we've got to put Bianca back at the back of the lineup. Now, the northern tip of this continent is where Madison dropped off in his barrel and sailed off to Heavens Above Abbey. S uh, some mermen and some thaumatosauri. That's what you get for serving your strength. Ouch. Ouch. Farewell, enemies. They hit a bit hard, don't they? Sailing southward. Ah, here's an island with a sign. South of here lies the desert queendom of Helmanoptra. Sounds like a place we were told about in the pub. In Lodestar Harbor. Most of that central continent is inaccessible for now. And here we have some men of war. They can paralyze party members with their normal attacks. But they're pretty easy to take down. Oh, and what have we here? Interesting. It's pretty amazing finding such a huge building in the middle of the woods like this, eh? And on a small isolated island to boot. Old man Nick Nack's a tough nut. He's really prickly. Oh, finally! You're finally here, are you? I've been waiting so long, I've only been and died, so I have. What's that? What's me name, you're asking? Well, let's see now. I'm so old, death's been bored stiff waiting for me, and I'm a knick-knackerer, so I suppose that makes me Old Man Knick-Knack. Twas me dream to gather famous goods from all over the world and display them in me knick-knackatory here. That's why I built the place. Ah, but I've been waiting here for someone to come so I could ask them to go collecting exhibits for me. Only, not a single fiend's turned up in me entire lifetime. So then, Let's take a look at you. See if you were worth the wait. You've come rolling home with all this, have you? And at your age, tis a grand collection altogether. Well done. I was actually hoping to uh, hand the place over to someone who brought me the dream souvenir, mind. Oh, what's this dream souvenir? I'd love to see it, though, that finest of souvenirs. Tis hidden somewhere about in King Dominicus's dominion, I believe. Fancy waiting so long you end up dying. Maybe we should try and help the old guy out, eh? Sounds like a plan, Bianca. We can't get inside yet. Anything around the outside? I don't see anything. 
So let us leave. Our next destination is to the southeast of here. On this little island. Some bubble slimes appear. There are a lot of slime types to be encountered on this island. Including metal slimes and liquid metal slimes. That takes care of the bubble slimes. And what is this place? Do you reckon there really is some great treasure hidden here? We could try asking around and seeing if we get any clues. It's a bit on the small side, but it looks a lot like a castle to me. Hello, slime. Don't disturb me. I'm training myself up to be a super gooper slime, like the one on the roof of the castle. Well, good luck with that. You can't knock him for being ambitious, but can slimes even make themselves bigger through training? Hey, am I seeing things, or is that a slime over there? You're not seeing things. Off you, off you. Here's a treasure chest with an iron mask. Very nice. Except no one at the moment can equip it. How would you like to buy a chocolate medallion for the folks back home? It's a bargain price of only 480 gold coins. Well, sure, why not? Nice doing business with you. I'll put it in that bag of yours there. Well, thank you, ma'am. Blimey, what a delicious smell in chocolate. The smell alone is enough to send you wobbly. We've now purchased the chocolate medallion, a sweet specialty, of King Dominicus. Hello there. If you're looking for the bank, you've come to the right place. I keep all customer deposits very carefully indeed. Inside my own pocket, in fact. That doesn't sound too safe. So relax, place your trust in me, and deposit away. Um, do you reckon the bank here is above board, Madison? It smells a bit fishy to me. Yes, a bit, my dear. Come to trade in some mini metals, have you? I've still only managed to collect a set of pajamas so far. The chocolate medallions here are yummy, though. I'm completely addicted. Hey, a rare treasure hidden in the castle, you say? Nope, I don't remember hearing anything about that. Why don't you try asking King Dominicus? It's almost like that bloke's not from around here. I suppose it's fair enough that he don't know, though. Hmm? You wish to ask about a rare treasure hidden in my castle, my little minikin? Yes, sir. Hmm, I wonder if it's that puzzling little thing that suddenly appeared just the other day. I racked my brains trying to think of a use for it, but I'm afraid the results were rather minuscule. 
I've had it on my throne until just recently, but it rather made my rear dominium sore. The lady at the inn said she could find a use for it, so I gave it to her in the end. I see. Puzzling little thing. I wonder what it is. Anyway, King Dominicus here is the recipient of many medals in this game. The special thing I was given by His Majesty... Oh, not that. I thought it would make a good paperweight, but it was so heavy I sprained my wrist when I tried to put it on a letter. Then I tried using it as a chopping board, but you should see the mess it made of my knife. No, I ended up giving that useless thing to the chap in the bank. Good riddance, I say. She must be talking about the treasure we heard about, eh, Madison? We should try and find the thing now we've trailed after it thus far. Yes, we should. That thing I got, I got from the woman at the inn was so solid that I thought it would make an excellent shield. But it was far too heavy for anyone I know to be carting around all the time. It was in my way in here, so I dumped it outside in the end. Litterbug! He dumped it? Do you think it's really that worthless? So, let's check outside. Oh, what is this? It's some... Excuse me, it's some maxi metal. Ooze! What? s somebody help me! What is this? There seems to be a troubled voice coming from underneath. Go to the rescue. Yep. That was gruesome. I thought I was going to ooze it for a minute then. Thanks for helping me out. I thought it would be goo for my training, you see, but I ended up getting squashed. Oh, you poor little thing. We can't just leave it here. It's dangerous. You take it. Go on. The slime thrusts the maxi metal into Madison's hands. So we put the maxi metal in the bag. Phew, that's a weight off my slime. Now I can get back to my training. Now we have the maxi metal, an enormous metal. And it can be used as a shield, but not by any of my current party members. Fancy that poor slime being squashed like that. This must be the so-called great treasure we've been hearing so much about. I've got to say, it's a bit of a letdown. Well, we'll see. Let's go inside and talk to King Dominicus again. Ah, is that my old maxi medal you have there? Yes, it is, sir. I came by that lo a long while back now. I'm afraid I much prefer the delightful little mini medals, though. Do feel free to keep it, won't you? Just take it far away from my dominion if you don't mind. We shall do so, King. Ah, I feel a million times better now. Er, uh, let's see. I'm a collector of mini medals, which are said to be scattered all over the world. You're currently carrying 19 mini medals. Would you like to exchange any of your, of your medals for prizes, Madison? Well, let's see what you have. What may I administer to you? In this one, you actually have to trade in your medals for prizes. 
you won't automatically get prizes at certain milestones. That is sort of a pain in the Dominium. I think I will save up for the bottom prize, the Metal King Shield. Nope. Not right now, King. Very well. Do let's mingle again sometime. Yes, sir, your kingship. Anyway, what is down here? Some treasures. But we don't have a key to that door. And we won't for a while. So, that's all we get to do here for now. Let's go back northwest to the Nicknackatory. Along the way, we'll deal with some mermen. Goodbye, mermen. One drops a treasure chest with an iron claw. Balmerin doesn't need that anymore. Neither does anyone else, so we'll put it into the bag. All right, Nick. How's she cutting then? Have you brought me some new souvenirs, have you? Yes, I have, sir. Janey, Mac, Nick, Nick, give a dog a bone. That's some maxi metal you're carrying. Absolutely. Right. That settles it. The Nick Nakator is yours. Congratulations. You're the new curator. I hope you'll make a success of the old place. Just. Keep bringing more souvenirs, and you'll do just for grand. It's ours. This whole place is ours. I can hardly believe it. Believe it. There's a couple of rooms downstairs that even the Colonel, I mean, even Old Man Knickknack, doesn't know about. You should see what the crack, I mean crake, is down there. So, let's go inside and check it out. It's nice and tidy considering it was off the beaten track all that time. The old man must have taken care of the place. It's good to see so many visitors in the place. Uh, there aren't many yet, Bianca. This place don't feel like a museum at the minute. There's something funny in the air. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. I've been wanting to give this to the, uh, so I have. And we receive the chamois. We place it in the bag. You can use that on any of the fine articles we have on display here. It'll polish them up so they look just grand. Only, tisn't the done thing to be cleaning the exhibits in front of our visitors now, is it? No, I guess not. So I'd ask you to refrain from your rubbing till after dark when everyone's out of the way. Oh, I get it. So all the cleaning and stuff gets done of a night. That is right, Bianca. Gotta keep all the exhibits nice and tidy, eh? Folk come a long way to see them, after all. Welcome to Madison's Nick Nakatory, boasting the world's finest collection of arts and crafts from far and wide. Please respect the other visitors, and speak quietly while on the premises. This place is where we put all those knick-knacks that we have gotten. 
and this chamois is for polishing the knickknacks that we have put on display. What's down here? Ah, uh, a TNT ticket. A mini medal. And another TNT ticket. Let's toss the tickets into the bag. And we have 20 medals now. Some display cabinets for more knickknacks. It's a bit creepy in the dark in here, eh? I would say so. And what's up here? Well, hello! You must be a, you must be the exciting new knickknack expert. The new curator? Excellent! I'm Annette. People call me Exotic Annette. This is the Extra Special Exotic Annette Expo, where you exhibit and exchange exemplary knickknacks with other eccentric explorers. Let me explain, Madison. You're not exclusive, you see. There are other knickknackers in this expansive world of ours. Exchanging exotic knickknacks, or exotica, with external exhibitors is exactly what Exotica Net is all about. And you can experiment with Exotica yourself here, too. You can invent your own knickknacks for export to other worlds. Curators of exhibitions like yours will be extremely happy to send an example of their own original Exotica back to you, too. So, have I extolled the virtues of ex Exotica Net ex enough to excite you? Don't be excluded from the fun, okay? And that's for sharing stuff with other players with Wi-Fi. Other Dragon Quest V players. Since I'm playing on an emulator, that won't do much good, though. And that other lady there will save our game for us. Now, what's back here? It's Old Man Nick Knack's diary. Madison starts to read it. Today is the... well... Today's the day after yesterday, so it is, just like every other day. But anyway, this fella brought me a maxi medal, so he did. Twas the least I could do to appoint him as curator. I wonder whether he'll make a go of the museum or not. Maybe he'll make it into the Grand Nicknackatory I always dreamt of. Perhaps. He's certainly got high hopes, eh? We'll have to make sure we make a go of this place. I bet the old man planned on sleeping here and running the museum himself. Anything in here? The treasure chest must be full of old man knickknacks, most precious things. Better leave it be. Aw. Anything upstairs? I just stumbled upon this place while I was on my travels, you know. It's a very grand building, isn't it? If they just had some things on display, this place would be sensational. This building in itself is a good advert for the museum, if people are just stumbling across it like that. Another display room in here. The room on this floor has only one pedestal. So, let's make it nighttime so we can set up some exhibits.
It's a bit scary being in a museum of a night, but it's got a special sort of feel to it, too. Anyway, let's sort our bag by type. That will put all our knickknacks in the back of the bag. So, let's start placing. I'll set the chocolate medallion here. Bittersweet flavored confectionery. Knickknack level 3. We'll leave that here. Let's set up the honey buns. Proud product of Mostro Ferrato, full of sweet sticky jam, decorated with images of Madison and Bianca. Also level 3. We'll set up the zoom shine. One for joy, two for sorrow. Famous spirit from Zoomingale with the slogan of Life is but a drink. Level 8. Let's set up the scuttlebutt a ledger here. Ha! Ah. A heavy sigh echoes through the room. Level 1? Just a gossip-ridden tabloid. Surely not worthy of exhibiting in a museum. Look at that shock factor. And how about here? Let's set up the ship in a bottle. Level 5, Souvenir from Lodestar Harbor. Extremely skillfully made, but too easy to come by. Hmm, the marital organ. Received to mark the occasion of Harry's wedding. Slightly embarrassing. Level 7. Nice little music. We'll be improving that one later. Let's set up the blooming branch on this stand. Level 8, received in Fairy Lee. Very unusual blossom. We'll leave that there. Here we'll exhibit the Toffs Tea Set. Level 4. Tea Set from up to 10 towers with considerable history. Seen better days. Now with this one, we want to polish it with the chamois. Wherever that is. Ah, here we go. We'll use it to polish the Toff's tea set. The fine silverware regains the luster it once enjoyed when it was lovingly used by the count of up to ten towers. Now level eight. Tea set from up to ten towers with considerable history. Well polished and in good repair. We'll go upstairs next, to place the Maxi Metal. So far, that is our best exhibit. Level 15, abandoned by King Dominicus, but actually maximally rare. We'll leave that here. I do have some other knickknacks in my inventory, but I'll keep them, since they're useful in battle. 
Ah, oh, the old man is in here. Zzzz, zzzz. He sounds a bit tired. We should let him get some sleep. Sounds like a good idea, Bianca. And let's go downstairs to save the game. I don't know why, but I was drawn to this place as if by the strength of someone's will, someone as yet unknown to me. It is all in the goddess's grand plan, I have no doubt. I just hope I can be of use here. Well, in the next episode, we'll sail southwest to the desert kingdom of Helmanoptra. This is Heirotlania. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.